um, if you if 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 you're uncomfortable about that. Um, Uh, where did you train from? Ana wara wacho kanka maleng kita nuoke punyere ameangi. I said yesterday very clearly how I was trained, and I'm sure you also followed what I said. I said things systematically. I am an intelligence officer. I cannot therefore reveal where uh, intelligence officers are trained, and yet you belong to the opposition in Uganda. That means that you like to fight my our, my government, and I would allow that. Now uh, you are now going much too far in your role as a witness. We won't allow that in the future. So it's not not as I told you before, and I have to be I think more explicit now. You're not here to assess uh, and the, the propriety of every question that is being put to you. And uh, up until now, again, there was no question put p to you by uh, the Defense Council who was in any way improper. It is perfectly clear that we are talking here about uh, um, translation, about audios, about listening, about interpretation of words, so all the line of questioning, there is, as I said, there is nothing improper in it. And um, you have the same duty that you had to answer to the question of the prosecution, you have to answer to the question of counsel of the defense here. So I would uh, strongly advise you in the future just to answer the questions that are put to you. And if there is something that might uh, um, be detrimental to your security or to uh, uh, protection of uh, uh, state security or whatsoever, we go into private session. We can, we can always discuss, discuss that. But we do not discuss now every, t every five minutes the propriety of, of questions by the defense. Um, you can be sure that the court has enough experience to, to step in if need be but not when you want it. <laughs> May it please your honors and with your kind permission, uh, I just wanted to, to contribute to this by, uh, with due respect, remind the witness that uh, it is not about politics. He made a statement that he's opposition and he would like to fight his government. I'm afraid that's what is wrong with Africa, but that is not what this case is about. It is not what this court is for. And also remind him that I know that the army is apolitic. The army is to protect the nation, protect everybody, both opposition and the government. So that statement that he makes that because he's in opposition and you would like to fight his, his government, I think that is to rest, mistake the role of an army in a democracy. So Mr. Taku, you know that I've al already addressed it, but I can perhaps um, put it, Mr. Witness, to you uh, again a little bit more clear perhaps. It's absolutely clear that we here are uh, a court. We are following the rule of law. We are not following the rule of politics. As I said before, this is not about Ugandan politics, and also, also Mr. Taku has said. And again, and this, but this is the last time that I tell you that. Um, Mr. Ayena and all the others here in the defense team have a role as officers of the court. They have a role here in, in the uh, rule of law. And they, have, they are bound to their professional ethics. And we have, as I said before, we have no reason to doubt that. And this is a completely different situation than you would perhaps, I don't know that, I cannot assess that, that you might perhaps have in, in politics in Uganda or wherever. So, but this is it for now. And um, I really, um, it was a little bit, uh, a, lo a relatively long intervention. Uh, I sense that it uh, is necessary now, but we will not repeat it. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, without going to maybe the, this having to disclose the where you trained, 
Uh, do you remember that you, were, you, you told God that you were trained by somebody called Okelo Azubango? And I watch a court come a link, Jack is dead in the wing, and I told clearly uh, that uh, I was trained by Okelo Adubango, and he is now deceased. And actually, Okelo Adubango. Okelo Adubango is an Alu person from the Alu tribe, but he was born in Acholi land, and he was uh, uh, fairly aged and had good knowledge of Acholi. Thank you. You said you that uh, you became a technical intelligence officer. Technical. Uh, uh, Your Honor. Sometimes you may have the impression that I'm not answering questions well because I feel that there are some questions we should be in private because issues concerning uh, security and my institution should be uh, dealt with care because I may be uh, afraid to say certain things. Thank you. This is something that we appreciate. Uh, how you um, uh, acted now, not admonishing, but simply uh, telling us where your concerns are. And I think we can follow this in that regard, and we go to private session. Yes. Mm.